testing. Good evening, everyone. My name is Angelique Henderson. Um, as he said, I'm a junior at Harvard University. And today I'll be performing an original poetic monologue for you entitled, You're Wrong. Long hair, don't care. Hair untied, no sweats. Why? Put makeup on. Why do you tell me these things and put these images in my head where my God told me that I was made in his image? Why do you mock me every morning, you reflection and the choice of my toothpaste and the things that I decide to wear and the body that you think I'm letting go to waste? You tell me that I have to be bad, wear tight clothes, Go out with my hair did, nails did, and be fancy. But I tell you, you're wrong. You are very, very wrong. Growing up, do you know how many times I've cried because we couldn't afford the new Jordans, Maury's, that rockaway suit, and the guy I liked thought, not me, but the girl next to me was cute? The theme has changed, and thank God I've given up crying, but now it's, what type of weave do you have? What college do you go to? What's your title? What are you going to do when you graduate from school? <laughs> Recently, do you know how many times I've gotten, you've gotten skinnier since before you went to Spain? Well, I'm sorry for not being crazy about my host family's cooking, but really? Instead of commenting on the evident joy I found in God while there, which emanates in every smile I emit now, in every conversation I have, you comment on my appearance. 1 Corinthians 6.19 Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you? Deuteronomy 8.3 Man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Is this saying something to you? I don't care about Wonder Bread. Jesus himself fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. I care about him, for he is the bread of life. So tell me that my Savior did not die for me so that I can live life more abundantly into eternity. See, because my favorite scripture says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And that includes chasing my TV and film acting dreams. I am God's masterpiece. And you are his masterpiece too. Just the way you are. You don't have to believe me or believe in my God, but he loves you anyway. Amen. So, I am going to put my sweats back on because in a dress or sweats, he loves me just the same. Amen. That's right. Ephesians 2.10, I'll leave you with this. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. And she wrote that herself. Wasn't that beautiful? Water you drinking at Harvard, but whatever it is, you keep drinking that water. You go to the top, girl. You go to the top. I thought it was a beautiful monologue, a beautiful piece. Um, critique, I would say, just my preference, I would probably like to hear a little bit of music playing in the background, but other than that, well done. Amen.